This customer was so good at once. Been a long time since I tried this, uh, but it's updated to the latest Android version, which is Android 14. Although while making this video, it's not updated to the March security patch as like a lot of other custom rooms too. We are talking about Siberia OS. If you remember this custom room or if you are into custom rooms from a long time, Siberia OS is or basically was one of the good or brilliant custom rooms having some cool customizations for you it's based on the latest android 14 which is quite good in recent times i shaved you some cool interesting custom rooms which were so good previously but these are updating too having a look at the things included by default in this custom room we have same kind of ui in settings first of all it's not a customized settings ui like some other custom rooms like for example project matrix or we have evolution x who is kind of similar but project elixir is here some of the useful things customizations features are included in this custom room so let's have a quick look at all the customizations or features available there by the way this is siberia os based on android 14. if you want to know more about this make sure to like this video right now Moving into the some customizations or features here, firstly, if you take a look at the launcher as expectedly, we have launcher three base launcher, which is having some icon pack customizations for you. Some options related to home screen. For example, you have the option for at a glance, you have the option to customize a search bar. I mean, you can enable or disable that, which is a very useful thing. Moving into the app drawer, you have the option for themed icons on app drawer. So if you want to use themed icons, even on the app drawer, you can use that. The quick actions available in recent panel seems good. I will show the recent panel too. And yes, as expectedly, hidden and protected apps feature is also present here. In case you want to hide those apps or hide any app from the app drawer, you can do so. And same thing with the app locking protection is also included. I'm not exactly sure how many of you use app lock feature, but it's available. So yes, I just wanted to let you know. Let me show you the recent panel once. This is the recent panel looking like looking similar to some other custom rooms. So nothing new, although the text is not written there, only the icons are available. So this might be a difference as compared to some other ones. Moving into the quick settings panel here. One thing which is missing from here, what I found right now is the separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles are missing. So if you use them, unfortunately, you cannot use them by default, although you have the option to use some third party apps. For example, better internet tiles is one of those apps which you can try and enable that separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles. But to enable that, you need Shizuku or root access. So keep in mind that. Moving into the general tweaks here, which are available here. First of all, we have some spoofing options. For example, higher FPS in games. I don't do gaming much, so not gonna talk about much, but unlimited photo storage, it is working perfectly fine here. I'm using this, it's looking so good because you need this feature, especially in a custom room. Moving into the buttons options, one thing which I found here is in the power menu section that you can customize the maximum actions to show. So if you enable these icons or these options here, open power menu, this is the power menu looking like. So you have the option how many uh, how many actions you need on power menu. For example, if I enable this torch, this is working fine here. So yes, this is how it's working fine. And uh, the things are working fine right now. I'm not facing any major issues or bugs after installing this thing so far things might be device specific but most of the things shall be same here as you can see i have enabled the eight actions and these are showing at the front page or basically the normal starting page here if you enable the advanced restart option those are present in the restart settings you can see emergency power off and restart options so this is about the customizations you can use them it's totally up to you if you have already all the actions available this rose things are not working here which is uh, sometimes quite weird but as yes, it was available so yes i just wanted to let you know so if you disable this thing it's still showing me these kind of things we have now three rows available and maximum five actions we have these options available and the playback control as expectedly it's already present here moving into the notifications section as expectedly we have island notifications available which you can say display heads up notification in a dynamic island style I personally think reticker notifications was far better as compared to this island notification. So if reticker notifications are present, I will definitely choose that one as compared to this. Although heads up notifications are still not a bad choice. Status bar customizations. 
Almost everything is similar here, but one thing which is so good is the custom Volti and Wi-Fi icons. So as you can see, if I move on to Volti icon styles, it does not bring you tons of Volti icon styles, but some useful. For example, the HD icon, sometimes I use this. The Asus icon is one of my favorite, which I was using previously, and some other icons already there. That Oxygen OS style Volti icon is also one of my favorite. It was available previously a lot of time ago. Right now, it's not available in most of the custom rooms but it's available there so yes you're going to love it if you need if you are into custom rooms from a lot of time moving on to the notification styles here one thing which is so good is the background transparency of the quick settings panel as you can see if you use background transparency to one two etc it will be fully transparent as you can see it's now fully transparent so yes it's totally up to you but if you don't need transparency you just need blur behind that so choose above 80 for example like this so you will get the blur it is not exactly like blur although even if you adjust it to 90 or etc but yes it's still good enough as compared to this so yes your brightness your your quick settings panel might look better as compared to some other ones but yes else we have quick setting tiles options available here we have some theming and customization related things we have the option for screen of animations we have the option for custom monet theming which you can definitely try out and yes signal icon customizations wi-fi icon customizations and the options related to fonts icon pack are almost identically similar here one of those icon pack which is missing from here is pui which is pavlo ui it's missing some things are missing as compared to some other custom rooms but most of the things are just similar here some fonts are available and the one which i have applied so far is san francisco display pro or you can consider it as ios fonts which i'm using right now so that looks good we have some lock screen options already available there which is so useful for example that dynamic lock which is already available in most of the custom rooms but you can disable the ripple effect on unlock the option is available at number three so you can disable this thing in case you want to you don't need a ripple effect on unlocking so these are things available there else we have a similar kind of things these were things i just wanted to let you know everything else is just kind of similar we have android 14 kind of options already available like custom clocks which you can use you can even customize the clock color and size some options related to face unlock and fingerprint unlock everything is already present here so more security similar kind of things app locker is also present there even it is available in the default launcher so this was all if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channel if you need more interesting custom room videos which are coming very very soon some privacy focus and a lot more thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one